A very good morning to you all and welcome to our class today. Now children, as you know, we are going through a series through the book of Mark and I'm happy to be teaching us today. Our lesson today will be from Mark chapter 1 and verse 29 to verse 39. But just before I read our portion today, it might be good for us to remember where we are up to now in this account of Mark. Now we saw that Mark is writing about the Lord Jesus Christ, verse 1 of chapter 1, it is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And we saw that the King is coming. And in the recent teachings, we saw that the King has come. And when he came, what did he do? In chapter 1, verse 14 to verse 15, he proclaimed the gospel of God. And then last Sunday, we saw him calling his first disciples and actually charged them to be fishers of men. Now I'm going to read for us uh, chapter 1 verse 29 to verse 39 and then we shall continue discussing. So Mark uh, chapter 1 29 to 39. And immediately he left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law lay ill with a fever and immediately they told him about her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. And the fever left her and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or oppressed by demons. And the whole city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place. And there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. And they found him and said to him, everyone is looking for you. And he said to them, let us go on to the next towns that I may preach there also, for that is why I came out. And he went throughout all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. And that's God's word for us today. Now, this is a fascinating story, children, and I'm going to narrate it to us. Now, Jesus has just declared that he has come, and because he has come, the kingdom of God has come in chapter 1, 14 and 15. And he has been healing many people. And in verse 29 to 32, we see him going to the house of Simon's mother-in-law, and she was sick, she had fever. And when Jesus was told about that, he came and took her by the hand and immediately the fever left her. That's amazing. Jesus healed her. But it wasn't just her. Look with me at verse 32. That evening at sundown they brought to him all who were sick and oppressed by demons. All. And verse 33 says the old city was gathered at the door. The old city and all who were sick were brought to him. And verse 34 says that Jesus healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And I, I think at that point we might be saying, wow, this is what Jesus has come to do. But the funny thing from verse 35 to verse 39 is that very early in the morning, Jesus withdrew to a desolate place, to a private place, and there he prayed. And people were looking for him. Remember everyone? Remember that the whole city was gathered around him? And, and he has done amazing work of healing the sick and casting out demons. Definitely people should have been looking for him. But Jesus is in a private place. And his disciples, Simon, and those who are with him, they come and tell him in verse 37, 
that everyone, really, everyone is looking for you, Jesus. I mean, already your popularity has grown. Come out. People need to be healed. But the verse 38 then, Jesus makes it clear why he came. And he says, no, we have to go. He says, let us go on to the next towns that I may preach there also. For that is why I came out. Now Jesus makes it clear. Guys, do not be, you know, doubting. Do not be guessing why I came. I came out to preach the kingdom of God. Now I'll remind you the first thing that Jesus did when he came, according to Mark, is to proclaim the gospel of God. I wonder, children, do we ever think that the main job of Jesus was to teach the gospel? How serious do we take preaching? Jesus says, I have come, I have brought the kingdom of God. And the way to establish my kingdom, and the way to build my kingdom is by preaching the gospel. I wonder what you want to do with that. And the priority of Jesus' ministry was to teach, was to preach. Do you, as a child, do you enjoy listening to Jesus' teaching? I think the first application for us this morning is that we would want to listen to the Lord Jesus Christ because his priority is to teach the gospel. We are to be excited about the gospel. But secondly, and if you're listening to me, whether as a, a small child, a big child, big children, even the parents, and you have not listened to the teachings of Jesus, then it might be very difficult for you. But if you have, then the second biggest application for us is that we will make his priority our priority. Jesus' priority should be our priority. His priority is to teach the gospel. Our priority ought to be to teach the gospel that many may believe and get their sins to be forgiven. Now, before I pray for us, I'll quickly uh, uh, show us the craft for us today. And hopefully your parents should have received a paper that looks like this. Now, it's written there, all the people thought Jesus came to heal, but Jesus said he came to tell people the good news. Now they should also have received, hopefully, one that looks like this. You know, we have very many sick people there, and they think, oh, this is why Jesus came. Now, as you can see, this a half looks the same with this a half. So what I will ask you to do is to cut the rectangle, have one piece, this is for two people, and then you're going to have your small rectangle which looks like this. Now with this, the surprise of the, of the craft is that you're going to attach, you know, in the dotted rectangle, you're going to attach your small rectangle here with a tape. And then people think, oh, this is what Jesus came to do. Jesus came to heal and to cast demons. But then, to their surprise, you're going to be able to open your craft and no, Jesus says in verse 8, I came to preach the gospel. I came to teach people about the kingdom of God. Now, this is how your craft is going to look like children. It's going to look like this. So, you can color, like you can see, I have colored mine. Uh, and then, oh, people think he came to heal? No. And then, to your surprise, Jesus came. Two, he says, to preach the gospel. The kingdom of God is near. Turn to God and believe. Wow. Now, just again, to have to finish this, to finish this, remember our memory verse. We've been thinking about Mark, and our memory verse has been Mark chapter 1 and verse 15. Who can remember the memory verse? Do you want to tell your parents? 
uh, if you can you have it in your mind. Now, if you do not, I have my memory verse here. It is a time has come, Jesus said, the kingdom of God is near, repent and believe in the good news. And remember, as our teacher has been doing for us, it is Mark chapter 1, verse 15, and it says, the kingdom of God has come, Jesus says, repent and believe in the good news. Now, one more thing, which is very important as well. Now, we have said the first thing for us is to believe and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I know most of us in the church family, the small children, believe that. And I've said the second application is for us to make Jesus' priority our priority. Now, if you can see in my paper here, I have written, I would like to preach the good news to... Now, sorry, I've not written the person here, but why not do that? Why don't write, you can use even the craft paper and say, I would like to preach the good news to one, number one, say a friend that you'd like to preach the gospel to, and number two, you can write one or two, and actually pray that the Lord is going to help you to make preaching the gospel a priority, just as Jesus has made it his priority. Let me pray for us then as we finish. Our Lord Jesus, we thank you so much that you have come uh, to proclaim the good news. Thank you that you do not leave us doubting why you came. We do pray that as children, we will be excited as well to be preaching the good news. We will make your priority our priority. And please, I do pray that that will continue to grow your kingdom. And we pray that in Jesus' name. Amen.